we're going to start out with some tan clay. This is to make the buns on the burger. And I am using Sculpey 3 because I feel like it's really easy to work with. A lot of people don't like it. I personally love it. You can use whatever clay you like. You're going to roll it into a ball and cut out equal halves so the bun can be the same size. And then you're just going to roll it and press it into your hands um, to make like a dome shape for the buns. And you're going to do that twice. And just kind of make sure that they're both the same size and that they fit on top of each other. Then we're going to go with the patty, roll it out into a ball shape. And you're going to take a rolling pin and just flatten the ball out. And once again, make sure everything fits together. That's the most important part. I'm using a toothbrush to texture the sides just a little bit and then I'm going to take a dotting tool and add a little bit more texture just to make the meat look like it was cooked. You can skip this step if you want, I just feel like it gives it a cute touch without making it too realistic because you want this to look cute. And now you're going to go to the cheese. You're going to do the same thing. Just roll it out into a ball and then flatten it out with a little rolling pin. I'm going to use a square clay cutter, but you can also just cut this into a square if you'd like. I just feel like the clay cutter um, happens to be a good size and makes it a little bit easier. Those are Sculpey clay cutters that I got at Joann's. And then just lay it on top of your meat and bend the edges just to make it look like it's a little bit melted. Then the ketchup is super easy. You're going to roll out a snake and after you roll out your snake you're just going to um, cut it and spread it out just like a squirt of ketchup on a burger. And I'm so sorry my voice sounds terrible guys. I'm getting over a cold so if I sound like nasally or weird that is why. And then after you are done taking your ketchup and putting it on the burger, you just want to put your other bun on to make sure that everything looks good. And then you're going to take some liquid Sculpey and put everything together. So you're going to glue the bottom bun to the meat and the top part to the top bun. Now, I like to do that last, not step by step because sometimes it makes it kind of difficult and everything moves around. So if you want, you can roll your face out um, before you put everything together. But I like to do it once it's all together because I like to see like where the face would look the best. So to make the face, you're going to roll out a snake for the eyes and make two little dots on the bun uh, because the eyes fit better when they have like a little well to go into. And then you're just going to take a little bit of white and roll it into a ball and put it on the eyes. And you can kind of make the face however you want. I personally do not like to um, make faces out of clay too often because I hate rolling out the mouth. It is the most annoying thing. But since this is a bigger piece, while well, bigger in the world of polymer clay, um, I feel like it warrants using a actual clay eye and mouth set but a lot of times I just prefer to paint them on and the mouth you just kind of have to go with it you're probably gonna have to do it a few times it's just kind of the way it works but um, you roll out a really really skinny snake and then just put it right on a little bit lower than the eyes and then I'm gonna add a little bit of blush um, with some pink and just put it right under the eyes So then I'm going to grab an eye pin. I like to use the ones that have the little screw because I feel like it grabs onto the clay better. And I bought those on eBay, but you can also get them at um, Joann's. And then I just stick it in a little bit of liquid clay and poke it into the top. And then you bake uh, based on your manufacturer's instructions. I have a oven that I like to use. Um, after it's all baked, I just take some glaze, whichever you prefer. I like the Fimo glaze better than Sculpey glaze 
And that is it. Super easy, super cute. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.